if you're trying to get into any field, I just feel like you right. got to educate yourself. And like I was saying, especially in yeah. 2019 where it's all out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a booking agent, yeah, like I did the research. Like I watched the interviews. I did the shit. So I knew like you see the artists and you see the chains and you see the money and you see the shit. But no one ever asked, well, how did you get that? The people behind oh, was it, was it by touring? Well, yeah. how did you get touring? Mm-hmm. That's the, the booking team. agent. Yeah. I looked up to the booking agents because mm. I wanted to understand the mechanics of how everything was moving. I mm. didn't. I didn't buy into. Oh, you're just you're just rich because you tell me you're rich. I wanted right. to know how and why and who. Mm. Mm. So I figured out how and why. There's a lot of components. Mm. And it was like at the time, 2010, 2009. It was really Peter Schwartz and Kara Lewis, as far as in my mm. head. Mm. Um, and. That's just, I just knew that that's who I wanted. So when my manager was first reaching out, he found mm. me on SoundCloud, mm. hit me up via email, and he, he's right there. You can tell, you can ask him right now. I said- Miles? No, Milan, right there. Milan? I thought his name was Miles, my bad. Uh, maybe it's Miles. All right, cool. <laughs> no, Milestone, Milan. I remember telling Milan okay. over and over again, Milan, I thought it was I don't Miles. give a fuck about anything else you're doing. Get me a meeting with Kara Lewis. Mm. And then, then I'll like, I'll take it serious. Mm. Cause I'm never down, and people need to understand, you can't work with people who, who can't contribute something you can contribute to right. yourself. Right. Mm. So I was like, look, unless you can get me, because I don't need a producer, I'm doing it, mm. I don't need, a lot of managers are like, mm. they're putting the collabs together and this, or right. a I'm doing all that, so mm. I don't need that. I got a different prerequisite to fucking me, like I need this. So mm. if you can provide me this, and I'll, mm. then I'll take it serious. So, right. But yeah, it's the mindset of being like, you know what? It's the booking agent. Why? Because the booking agent is the one who puts you on tours. Listen, we post a lot of Russ clips. And some of y'all be hating and saying dumb shit. Like one nigga said that I, what do you say? I'm worship, worshiping white rappers. As like the polar opposite of my personality. But like the motherfucker speaks facts, okay? I don't care what color you are. Nigga, red, blue, purple, black, white, I don't give a fuck. Facts is facts. This motherfucker be spitting some shit. Hope y'all taking notes. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got Russ talking about how he got the number one booking agent in all of business. Not business, you dumb fuck. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got Russ talking about how he got the number one booking agent in all of music. All of music. Oh shit, it's 3.20 a.m. What's a booking agent? A booking agent is the person who has all the relationships to get you on tour. Remember I talked about earlier in other videos about the infrastructure of the independent music business. We got manufacturing, we got distribution, we got marketing, we got merchandising. The only two things we got left that the labels still have a control over is radio promotion and touring. Booking agents are in with the labels heavy. It's a shit ton of money. There's a lot of logistics that comes with touring. It's a huge thing to take on. Nobody's really figured out how to do that for independent artists yet. It's gonna happen, but not yet. What you need to take away from this video is that Russ was studying the game. Y'all be looking at these rappers, you see the chains, you see the cars, you see the money, and you see them on the charts, you see the streams, you're like, man, they rich. They all rich. No, how'd you get rich? How'd you get on tour? How'd you get your first shows? How'd you get that major feature? How did you make this shit work? That's why I fuck with Russ Heavy, cause he was like me with that shit. I was trying to figure out how all this shit worked. What no magic, what no happenstance. Y'all be reading these sensationalized PR stories where SZA dropped the tape and Punch was at some event and he heard it on somebody else's headphones and he signed her, gave her half a million dollars and she blew up. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. These are sensationalized PR stories to spread a narrative. It don't work like that. There's a lot of moving parts to get signs, a lot of moving parts to make money. Artists are their own business. They're their own company. Like an Apple, like a FedEx, like a Nike, an artist is their own company. And there are a lot of arms with an artist. Everything I just named, right? Manufacturing, distribution, touring, merchandise, publishing. All that stuff, there's a lot of arms. So people gotta be involved with this shit. And most of the people who are involved, they ain't in the music. Those are people you need to target. Those are people you need to know. For those that wanna be signed, those are people you need to fuck with. For those that don't wanna be signed, those are still the people you need to fuck with. 
or at least understand what it is that they do. Those are people who need to be watching their interviews. Those are people whose biographies you need to be studying. That's exactly what Russ did, and that's how he found out about Kara Lewis. If you don't know who Kara Lewis is, and you wanna make it in music, you wanna make it in rap, you're fucking lazy, period. You need to know who the fuck Kara Lewis is. Go look her up and see everything that she does. This is what Russ did. This is why Russ is doing what he's doing. This is why Russ is taking back ownership and being independent like he just announced a few weeks ago. He understands the game, man. He went to these people, he went to Columbia, went to Carol Lewis. He understands how to tour now. Now he can do everything on his own. I talked to y'all about living Nipsey's legacy, contributing to what this nigga wanted to see. Russ is doing that. I'm doing it. Are you doing that? Or are you just being lazy, just hoping that somebody's gonna sign you after you post your shit on SoundCloud because it's so dope? You're fucking dumb, man. It don't work like that. It's not gonna work like that. And if it does work like that, they're gonna take all your fucking money. You ain't never gonna see a royalty check. You're gonna see an advance, and that's it. And your kids, 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 gonna be broke as fuck. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all watch too many of my videos to keep believing that dumbass shit. So if you don't believe that dumbass shit, and you ready to take control of your career, you click the link in the bio, and you purchase more of our packages for 60% off right now. Not the pod. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.